thank you for being here. Um, I want to first acknowledge that we are on the territory that is governed by the One Dish with One Spoon Treaty, which is a treaty that defines this land as a space where we need to share it and take care of it for all. Um, and also it's the territory of the Mississaugas, Anishinaabe, and the Haudenosaunee. And previously there's also the Wendat and the Seneca. So I want to acknowledge all those people. And I also want to acknowledge the 90,000 indigenous people that currently call Toronto their home. And lastly, because I, my acknowledgements love to go on, I want to acknowledge all of the land in Canada as indigenous land. Yeah. And I want to acknowledge it as shared territory with all the nations who've come here. So today, I want to talk about um, Indigenous people's role in this struggle. And I think that we need to be, we are at the forefront of this struggle because they're the first ones who experience <laughs> all the detrimental effects of climate change. Um, we are also a source of strategy for thinking about climate action because we know the land intimately and we've been at the forefront of thinking about climate change for well before I think science ever even became involved. So I think we need to put Indigenous rights at the center of this movement and as Indigenous people are putting their bodies on the line across the country trying to stop things like the oil sands, um, trying to bring attention to the flooding of our lands when you do hydroelectric dams, trying to bring attention to the fact that 70% of all uranium is on indigenous territory globally. And so when we look at nuclear as, a, as an option, it's not a great option for us. So there's all this knowledge that indigenous people have that can really benefit um, our strategies going forward. We, as Idle No More has put forward um, the voices of women the voices of two-spirited people and the voices of youth, it has really sort of galvanized um, a voice, voices that haven't been a part of this thinking and a part of democracy in Canada. And I think Idle No More has been really amazing at bringing the question of democracy and how we're going to run this country and whose voices are really going to be at the table at the forefront of all of our struggles. And I think all of the struggles do come together under Indigenous rights. and. We are here for you as we defend this land. Will you stand with us in terms of our rights? Thank you.